I want to start the year by talking about rest. Now, I'm deliberately repeating a theme that we explored last year because I think it's something essential for us to look at. People will have very different thoughts about the creation narrative in Genesis, and I'm not going to examine that now. However, what all Christians do tend to accept is that God is a creative force behind everything in the universe. In that creation story found in Genesis, it says that after God had created everything, he rested. And furthermore, he admired all that he'd created. The first thing I want to say is that it's good for us to be proud of our achievements. We can look back over the last year and be proud of the educational opportunities we've collectively delivered. In the coming months, we can look back over this half term and consider what we've done well. Perhaps it would be good practice for us at the end of every week to do something similar. Too often we can chastise ourselves for the things we fail to do, rather than reflecting upon the good actions that we do do, and then using those positive thoughts as a springboard to keep going. Now, the rest that was instituted by God in the Genesis story later becomes enshrined in law in the Ten Commandments to be found in the book of Exodus. The Jews are told to keep the Sabbath day holy. Here we see rest as something that is beneficial to the spirit, but it's also beneficial emotionally, mentally and physically. Rest is something that God intended for creation. We see that in the way that farmers will allow a field to be fallow every few years to replenish its growing ability. As a Christian, I would argue that rest is written by God into our very DNA. I believe that we are not designed to continually work, but when we pause and reflect, we are actually copying the creator. The question that has to be addressed though, is how do we take a Sabbath rest in our busy 21st century lives? What might this look like for us? Firstly, this is not something to be legalistic about, whether it's in terms of the actual day or how we spend it. Jesus challenged the religious leaders of his time who accused him of working on the Sabbath. He was in fact more than willing to heal those who needed it because this was an act of love. So if the Sabbath is not about rules, what is it about? I was once told that the Sabbath is meant to be a taste of heaven. And so we need to do on the Sabbath, or whenever we rest, whatever gives us a foretaste of heaven. For many people, this will be worship. For others, it might be sport or time with family or a myriad of different things. For me, when I rest on the Sabbath or at any other time, it's about stepping aside from the hustle and bustle of life and allowing God to enter in, to encounter him, to encounter the divine in some way. So my prayer for all of you is that you are regularly able to find times of rest and restoration as we go through this coming term. And that when you do rest, you might be able to take a moment to admire whatever it is that you've done. Bless you all.